morning guys, it's Friday, no school day, I guess, because Gabby's going to the mall with Kaylee. We're getting a ride back to the barn to get, pick up the van and drop it back off. Uh -huh. We don't want to leave it there all the time. Yeah, because it's our van and it's at the barn. And, it's easier and everybody to drive will think that there's people there, but then there's... And it's no. easier to drive than truck, so that's why we're going to get it. And we are up. Hey guys, we're back at the hospital. It's just Sophie and I, because Gabby went to the mall. We're going to see how Laura's doing, right? Mm -hmm. Hi guys, welcome to today. Did you start the vlog? Yeah. Uh, it is 12.30. I just got to my room, and I'm going to be here a while. So, um, in important news, when I first got my x-rays back and the doctor uh, read the radiology report, um, he told me that I fractured my pelvis, so I assumed that I fractured my pelvis. Then the orthopedic doctor came in and he told me that, how did he say it? I, I, I said to him, the way he was talking made me feel like he was trying to keep something from me. And so I said, well, how, well, oh, I said, what side did I fracture? And he said, well, there are, and then he said, he fractured both sides. So then I was like, what? I have two fractures. I fractured both sides of my pelvis. And then, so then the physio lady came to help me. And I actually got up and I got to stand up. And it was excruciating. You don't even feel your pelvic bones until you actually have them broken. And then you feel every single bit. But anyway, um, when she was talking, she was talking about how I need to make sure everybody knows that I fractured so many bones in my pelvis when they come to treat me I need to tell them like how many bones are fractured so that they understand that I don't just have like a a, a common pelvic fracture and I said how many bones did I fracture and she said very many bones so yeah I did not know until just about half an hour ago but I actually fractured many bones in my pelvis I have many fractures yeah so I am in the hospital I am in a room now and I am going to be staying for a while uh, they're trying to come up with a plan for when I go home, um, if Sam can help me, which he can't, if I'm going to need a nurse to help me, but yeah, I'm in it for the long haul, and I just wanted to say thank you so much to you guys for all your support and kindness on all the social medias, it's been amazing. My kids have rallied around, they are coming to visit me, and Nick has been spending a lot of time with me, and <sighs> so... Other than the pain, it's been kind of like a nice little family reunion. You think Sophie ready to ride Stella again? Daddy is. Yeah, we. I'm playing with her. Yeah, like we're not ready to go there again, are we? But, but okay. I called it. Remember on Saturday, I said I dreamed that I fell off Stella. I was along the wall and I fell off, and I knew it was gonna mm -hmm. happen. I just don't didn't know when. At least it was with the coach. Yeah, at least the coach was there. Like, I forgot my phone at home. First time I ever forgot my phone, and um, I wouldn't have been able to phone 911. Uh -huh. Like, I don't even know what we would have been able to do. Not her first time. She's broken arm. I did when I was nine. I No, 13. I broke my wrist. But this is a whole different ball game. Um, so, I'm going to actually do a, a voiceover and to explain to you guys what exactly went wrong and how... It all happened, but I knew as soon as I started to canter, I knew it was the day I was gonna fall. Like I, I saw my vision flash in front of my eyes, and I was like, I'm gonna fall. But I thought when I fell, I thought I was gonna land and be like Sophie and be like in pain for a few minutes and then stand up. But that did not happen. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I will go through and do a little bit of voiceover and explain what happened and how it all went down. But um yeah that's it that's it for now that is my update i'm doing well i'm taking lots of medication to keep me comfortable um as long as i don't move around too much it's not too bad it's a lot better than yesterday just in case you guys are interested though i want to share my lunch with you i have um some salmon which i'm really excited about some green beans and some mashed potatoes i hate mashed potatoes um i'll probably eat them though because i've learned here if you don't eat what you get then you are going to be hungry i also got some uh, cranberry cocktail. I have some milk from uh, this morning leftover and I have some apple juice. I have a tea which I won't drink. Sam do you want a cup of tea? And I have some salad or some I don't know what this is. Oh it might be dessert. Has yeah Sam and Sophie brought me dessert. Yeah, 
I don't know. Sophie, try this. No. Just try it. No, I'm picky. I don't oh, I think it's rice pudding. Mmm. It is dessert. So how was your night last night with dad? Good. Was it really? How was your day with dad? So clearly dad does not know how to help Sophie get dressed properly. <gasps> and um, I was crying last night. Were you crying? Why were you crying last night? I wanted you to be home. I wanted to be home too. Guess how many days I have to stay here? How many? I have to stay at least two more. In the next two days I'm working on getting up and moving, but I'll probably stay more than two days. Are you going to be okay with that? I was sad last night too. Oh. Now my kids have never been away from me. It's okay, so you can come and stay. Crying. You can come and stay. You can come and stay with me. Like Dad can leave you here if you want to stay. Oh, stay too bored. Um, Abby ended up uh, going to the mall with Kaylee and got to spend some time with her, so that was a good thing. Yeah, Although Gabby doesn't seem to be that adversely affected, except for the fact that. that um, she will be when she realizes that she's stuck with that for days and days. As long as I'm out before Christmas is here, I'm good. Try a bite. No, I Try a bite. I, I, I... Yuck. Okay, so um, Gabby finally got here and she brought Kaylee. And? And they brought me presents. They're each getting a score by. No, they're for you. Yeah, leave them for me. So I got... Chocolate bars. We can share. No, no, put them in there. There's no sharing. And they got me a card. She got me a card. It's so nice. It says, hoping you're in good spirits and wishing you better health day by day. Isn't that so nice? We were trying to write in the card and it didn't go back. I love it. And they bought me popcorn. Christmas popcorn. It smells real good. Yeah. Mmm, it does smell good. I'm excited. We got her. Did you guys hear what I said when I was in the hospital or in the ambulance? I'm like, I get to stay in bed for a little while, probably like three months, but <laughs> at least I get to stay and in bed and rest. Score was sweet. No, if mom's no. willing to share. No. Do the jump when it stops. One, two, three, jump. Oh, you cheated. All right, guys, we made it. We made it to the barn. And guys, gonna ride Stella, get her going, and. Um, poor Storm is going to have a break today, but we'll be back tomorrow to ride Storm. We're grabbing Stella. Alright. Storm will be mad at you, but he'll probably want to be with you more tomorrow. <laughs> Storm, his blanket is destroyed. Oh look, Storm is coming up to Kaylee. Blanket is destroyed. There's Storm with his blanket. All over the place and Gabby is didn't bring her boots but she's gonna walk around and try and get into the get Stella Gabby's all concerned about her horse's blanket, which is falling falling apart. Yeah, you need to go fix this blanket after. Heck, and it's a new blanket. Just got a couple days ago. Oh, hi, kitty. Hi. Hey, Stella. So Gabby's gonna ride Stella today. The only person who's not afraid to ride her today, right? You are pretty wet, Stella. Pretty wet. 
like it <laughs> so Sophie's not here today because she is a bit afraid of Stella now even though it was not Stella's fault it was more Laura's fault uh, because you know when what happened was Laura squeezed her and she takes off so Stella is one of those horses where if you use your legs and you squeeze she goes she's more go horse than wool and Laura's not used to that and obviously Sophie's not used to that but Sophie is probably better than Laura at that but she's afraid to ride her horse now, so Gabby's gonna ride her for a bit. And, um, at least Gabby's not afraid. And uh, I guess we might continue our search for looking for a horse uh, for Laura and Sophie to ride while we get Stella mended. And uh, we'll probably bring her to our farm when we get it. And, get her diet sorted out and then get her trained as well a little bit more so we're at the barn Laura's at the hospital and Sophie's at the hospital all with her mom girl Stella hey Tex what are you doing Tex what are you doing smile 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 they almost smiled for me <laughs> that was too shy you're too shy Tex. Tex decided to roll in the sand. I know. I'm oh, look at you. You're all dirty. You're all dirty now. Okay. Gotta put you back out in the rain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just so you can get clean. Alright, we're almost set, Stella. Stella, you be good and Gabby be careful. I'm afraid. Actually, you can bring Storm in and fix his blanket after. It'll be supper time soon. All you ever do is say how far you wanna go. Baby, I can tell it's just for sure. Every line designed to let me know. So she happened? squeezed her. And so then, oh, that's her? Okay. Yeah, she's the type of horse you squeeze and she'll go.
going to be galloping day because there's nobody there? Yeah. And stay, she's she's to gallop. stay on this side of the arena. I know. On this side of the jumps too. Mm -hmm. And just walk. Stella. Come on, Stella. Smarten up. Smarten up. Good girl. Hey. Okay. Good girl. Good girl, Stella. No, don't good girl. No. Oh. Good girl. You hold it and stop. Oh. I didn't know what you're doing. Good girl. You getting off of her now? Yeah. Once she can walk nicely, she's good. Because she's freaked out. Because there's no ponies in here. Oh, she doesn't like that, eh? What do you want to do? Put her back in there now? Yeah. All right, well, at least she had a little bit of a ride. I know you can't run away. <laughs> you can't run. A, I know you can't run away, ride. Gabby is determined to teach this horse that she can't run away. But she can. <laughs> I'll do it when there's more horses in the arena. Yeah, okay. We'll come more. tomorrow. We'll come tomorrow anyways. Cause she's only acting bad if there's only one horse, which sucks cause shows, but... Yeah, well there'll be other horses around when there's shows. I know, just not in the arena. Like for jumping shows. Door! Oh. Here you go, I'll get the gate. So that was pretty much the extent of the ride because uh... Stella is the kind of horse that needs other horses in here. She's a little bit herd bound that way, so. And she likes to freak out a bit when there's no other horses in the arena. So that's another thing we have to work on. A lot of things we have to work on. It's almost dinner time too, so that may have a factor in everything too. Hey, Stormy, you're all muddy. Look at the mud on you. Look at the mud. Look at all that mud. Hey. Wet and muddy. So we brought uh, Storm in just for a little quick walk, trot, bareback kind of thing. We thought he would be jealous being in the field by himself. But again, it's dinner time too, so. He's the first horse out of his field. Yeah, I know, but it's dinner time too.
new blanket and it's ripped. Look at it. Look at that big tear. Is it torn on the butt? Is that where it is? Yeah, it's right here. Oh man. Alright. You should have cleaned it. You should have cleaned the blanket. <laughs> All right, that's it for the barn today. Bye, Storm. He doesn't want his grain today or something. What? He's eating hay. He doesn't want his no, grain. He's right there. He knows that he can't move away until <laughs> I just did that. Rude. Good night, Storm. See you tomorrow, maybe. Maybe we'll come tomorrow. We're not sure yet. Might ride Sunday. Again. Sunday we're coming for sure, probably. Right? Good night, Stella. See you tomorrow. Maybe. Or maybe Sunday. One of those days. See you later.